Hey, Craig. Let's get into some coffee talk. Hey, I love it. I love doing some coffee talk. Well, you know, talk about what? Dogs, tortoise, whatever. It's coffee talk. Coffee talk. Hey, Jason. Hey, Craig. I'm going to take Is a it... sip of my coffee because it's coffee talk. coffee talk. So, Craig, um, yes. we just talked to, to Mark Mercer. His first concert was Marco. Michael Jackson. Marco. The Jackson 5. I love that. Marco. Yes. Mercer. So what was your first concert that you ever went to? My very first concert was General Public at Cal State Fullerton. That's right in your area. Ooh. Yeah. General Public. Remember General Public? I actually don't. You don't? <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not going to sing. Do it, dude. You got to do it. You yeah. got to sing it. Yeah, I can't do it. I can't do it. You're Maybe wrong... we'll, we'll play it. Let's play it in the background. Okay. There you go. Boom. Remember that? You um, don't remember that song? No. Huh. General public. I think, huh. isn't there a, a mirror in the bathroom? Yes. There in you the go. Mm. Yeah. yeah. A little, uh, it's sort of like reggae ska-ish. Yes. My, can I throw in my second? Because it was yes. a lot of fun. My second... I mean, my second one was Oingo Boingo at the Greek Theater. And listen Ooh. to what I did. This is the hooligan that I was. Okay? Okay. M80. <laughs> we were in the upper deck. And my friend kept egging me on. I lit the M80. And I held it. Not. And then I chucked it up in the air, like way, way high. And I, and I highly advise nobody to ever do this. <laughs> and it exploded. Up in the air, luckily. I mean, I could have you blown my lucky. hand off of somebody or, you know, just... Oh, his head. Stupid. Stupid. And this is just <laughs> hypothetical, of course. But exploded. And Danny Elfman from the stage said something. I'd like, whoa, who's doing that? Or, you know, like... like and then the whole place went cheered. So, I don't know. It was pretty nuts. We wow. didn't get it. Wow. Man, that could, have, that could have not gone the right way. Was there alcohol involved? No, no. I mean, that was like eighth grade. Okay. Well, yeah, we're who knows? Young kids. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. know what kind of hooligan you were. No, no alcohol in the middle school. Not until <laughs> mid high school. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy, How about you? man. My first cousin, I was raised by a single mom. Okay. So that's the preface to what I'm about to say. My oh, first concert no. was Paula Abdul. Oh, geez. And that's back with Scat Cat. Scat Cat came out Scat. for Opposites Attract. I'm not familiar with Scat Cat. He was the, the cartoon cat that came out and danced with Paula. Oh. Yeah. How does a cartoon cat dance in person? Was it like a, um, it a mascot was, suit? Yes. It was a full mascot suit. Oh, jeez. Now they would be a hologram. Fantastic. Yeah, it's true. That is Didn't true. Didn't they do that at uh, like Burning Man or one of these things that they have now? <laughs> I don't know. Tupac came out in a hologram. Oh, the two packs? <laughs> no, Pac Man? How about the first <laughs> video game that you played? The first video game. I mean, was it the, the other It had game? to be. No, you know, um, I'll never forget my, my grandparents when I was young bought me the first Nintendo with the gyromite. That was the first game system that I got. So I think maybe with Rob the Robot. I don't know. Oh, okay. That. That's because I'm old. So that was after Atari and Intellivision and ColecoVision? Yeah, yeah. You're, you're a little older. See, I'm, so, I'm shocked they actually had video games when you were... Yeah, they did. Yeah. They did. <laughs> and I didn't get the Atari, but... <laughs> did convince the folks to get me the Intellivision. So I thought you guys just played marbles. Yeah. Well, you would think, <laughs> you would think. <laughs> How do we spin this into an insurance stock? Uh, well, I mean, you've got to do what you like and you don't throw M eighties in your agency. Truth. It's a bad idea. And what would be the modern day version of throwing an M80 in your agency? <laughs> Not using something to manage your leads. Yes, that's true. 
You know, That's true. like trying to use an Excel spreadsheet or hand handwritten notes. Yeah. Files because there's just I mean, there's too much technology at your disposal. Truth. Yep. And and this is what I always say because uh, people always say, "Oh gosh, that management system it might be a hundred dollars a month per person, right?" Like that's mm-hmm. expensive. Well, what's what's more expensive is your person doing five times less work. So if that hundred dollars right. makes them twice as productive, you're basically, let's say they, you know, they're three thousand dollars a month. You're saving fifteen hundred yeah. by spending one hundred. How many dials do you think a person could do? by hand with a telephone like the rotary yeah well i was thinking <laughs> past a rotary not not the one where you go operator give me 623 <laughs> that's the one that i had when i was a kid yeah oh i thought you guys had the uh oh man uh yeah yeah, 50, I, 50 I don't know. Under today, I, but you're gonna want to shoot yourself after yes. fifty. Yes, that sucks. And how many yeah. are your your uh, dudes and dudettes? A few hundred. A few hundred. But there now I'm not even looking necessarily at the dials. I'm looking at the talk time. Yeah, because well, that's the most productive activity, right? Is it is a hundred percent. But how, most people don't answer the phones anymore. Sure. Right. So right. you got to make those dials to get those yeah. meaningful conversations. It could be a hundred dials to get to one meaningful conversation. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And even you, if you're buying leads, right? You yep. could, I mean, we're, we're getting 166 leads a day. We probably get a hold of 15 of them. Mm, yep. So if you're getting, if you're doing leads and you know, how many times do you hear somebody say the leads suck? Right. If you buy 20 leads a day, the leads do suck. You, <laughs> yeah. don't have, you don't have enough leads to get to somebody. Right. I mean, that's yep. unfortunately the way that it works. And we always talk about process when it comes to leads and stuff and like, you know, the presentation, the closing and all this stuff. But one thing that I don't think it's talked about enough is not talking about insurance. Ooh. Don't bore, don't bore the other person with insurance talk. Like if you can't connect with them outside of insurance, the, right. there's a very little chance that you're going to be able to sell any insurance. Let's do some role playing. Ring, ring, ring. Mr. Jason, this is Craig uh, down. At, hello, Mr. Jason. This is Craig down at the insurance agency. Do you have a couple minutes to go over a quote? Click. Right. <laughs> Click. How about <laughs> ring, ring, ring. Hey, Jason. Uh, yes. Hello. Hey, uh, Jason, how you doing? Pretty good. Who's this? Oh, this is Craig. We talked about six months, maybe eight months ago. Okay. Yeah, we went over some numbers uh, on your home insurance and your auto insurance. You you remember talking to me? No, I Craig, don't think. Craig like an egg. I said Craig like an egg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, I remember you laughed. I have it in my notes. You laughed the last time. You don't remember? <laughs> no, I don't, man. <laughs> well, I mean. Will you give me five minutes? I, I, I'd like to really help you. Um, we do it a lot different here, and, and we just really want to help make sure that you have the right coverage. I'll tell you what. If at the end of this conversation you don't feel you're better off, I will give, I'll print this thing out. I'll tell you which coverage is, and you take it over to your current insurer and just at least show them what we've, dis, what we've uncovered. You good okay. with that? Craig and Egg. Yeah. Craig the Egg. <laughs> <laughs> I have Colby here. Funny. Colby says, Colby says, uh, it's Colby, like the cheese. That's what he says Dude, on every the, I mean that's they love genius. It. Yeah. Colby like the cheese. You got it. Just... He'll, he'll say, not Kobe like the Bryant, but Colby like the cheese. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. That's a good throws somebody off guard. If you can throw them off guard, you're golden. He he's been lately, the last couple of days, he's been saying uh, I'm, I'm calling to offer insurance conversion therapy. 
<laughs> and dude, they love that, it. That's another thing. You got to have fun. Dude, if you're having right. fun talking yeah. to people, they feel that. And they're like, all right, cool. Like, I would right. talk to somebody. I'd stay on the phone. Every Just now and then. Like, I, I like that I, fun. I usually answer the phone when it's some number I don't know, just to hear what they're going to say. And typically right. they're terrible. Um, but right. when there's a funny one, I'll, I'll hang out. You know, I, I mean, I have no problem hanging up on them. Right? This is so-and-so from 18th click. Right. But when it's something funny, I'll listen and then I'll offer them a job. Yeah. <laughs> they're in the area. <laughs> I like that nug. Nug. <laughs> Well, I think that was a great coffee talk. That started off a little funky. I didn't know if we were going to be able to uh, pull that together today. Well, it came together like a couple chickens in a chicken farm. Well, slap that on your knee and call it Sammy. (laughs) Okay, Sammy, we'll see you tomorrow. (laughs) All right. 55% of insurance sales producers say that they have had little or no sales at training. Us agents focus on marketing to drive activity and often overlook the sales presentation. Improvements in mindset, shifting focus, rapport, needs diagnosis, value building, creating buy-in and overcoming objections lead to drastically better closing numbers. The solution? Enroll your team in September Sales Summit offered by Agency Vault. We will even assess your team to see which of their sales steps need the most improvement. Head to agencyvault.com to sign up before it's full. Hey, thanks for checking out the insurance dudes. Hey, please subscribe. We got some really great stuff coming out.